Oh yeah, there it is, y'all. Welcome back. I'm Paige. And I'm Cindy. And, and this, this is Mom's the Word. Where Mom knows best. Or at least she is trying her best. And today we're very excited. We're very excited because we have a super duper special guest. Everybody say hi, Grace. Hi. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having me on. Of course. Everybody, if you don't know, this is at Grace Luessa on TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> Most of you probably have seen her and her husband, Nate, dancing around, eating juicy barbecue. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. We're doing something crazy all the time here <laughs> lately. <laughs> so Grace came to us um, to be on our podcast because we asked her to talk about what it is like to be a young mom. Because you had Luessa fairly early on. I did, yeah. I got pregnant when I was 19, and then I had her um, when I was 20, and then I turned 21 after that. So I was a young mom, and I I don't know. I, I never really like thought about it like that until I was older. Right, Yeah. right. But I think we all kind of go through those phases where you don't realize yeah. how young you were or yeah. how like unprepared you were for a situation yeah, yeah, yeah. until you had to like balls deep get thrown into yeah. it. I think when I was 19, I was just so scared. Of yeah. I didn't want to mess her up. I didn't want to yeah. Yeah. get judged for things. And especially being on TikTok and being on the internet, people are so quick to, you know, yeah. throw stones. And Hell yeah. Yeah. Did you feel that? Like, so when you found out you were pregnant, did you feel like scared to tell family, friends, mm -hmm. people around you? Was it a big thing? Yeah, I was terrified. We so Nate had moved in with me in Colorado, and we decided we were going to move back. And I at first I just told my family, "Oh, I want to move back to just be closer to everybody." And you know, co it was during COVID, and so at the ski resort I was working at had shut down. You worked at a ski resort. I worked at Aspen Ski Resort. Oh, girl. <laughs> I we'll, love skiing. We'll have to talk about it later. We oh can my talk. god, I love to go skiing. Like Wolf Creek, my dad took me whenever I was eight, right before my little brother was born. Aww. It was like our last solo dad and daughter trip, and we went skiing, and then we went to Breckenridge. Just the oh, one yeah. thing that I'm like, you're gonna count me out of that. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> if it ain't so a sled, much. I'm not doing it. <laughs> we could go tubing, Cindy. I would tube. You love it. Tubing That's is it. so much fun yeah, too. That's it. fun in the snow. And That's the place I was to be. working at a dinner theater too, and so all the shows were canceled, and so it was like the the perfect time just to kind of go home for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So when I went home, I waited till I was like 10 weeks pregnant to even tell my mom that I was pregnant. I was so scared to tell her, which I shouldn't have been scared to tell her at the end of the day because she's yeah. going to love me no matter what. But she was supportive. Yes. Yeah. Good. Her and my dad were. Deal. Yeah. Was your dad supportive too? Oh, I forgot. Well, <laughs> they, uh, they were supportive, but they hadn't even met Nate yet. Oh, my oh really? How long like, had y'all been together? like a couple months listen mark and i had been together for nine months when we got pregnant with boston yeah i think we were maybe together two or three months before, before i was went. pregnant with luessa so that is definitely intimidating because you're like you haven't even met yeah you haven't even <laughs> met my dad yeah oh my and God. was that nate nate's in the studio you guys were you terrified <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> my dad is like a big guy and he's he's a huge teddy bear my dad cries literally if i was on like me on stage graduating him crying yeah. like he's a big teddy bear but i don't know he was also very accepting of nate and mm -hmm. nate moved in with my mom and dad and i we lived with my parents until we found our own place so that's great that's great, that's great that you had that experience yeah. yeah instead of the whole do it yourself oh my god some situations yeah. are so bad about that it's yeah. like for me because i was actively trying to get pregnant but for you guys it was this surprise and <laughs> you know what they told me before he moved in what they were like you guys do not need to move in together. You're going to get pregnant. Oh my God. And I was like, no mom. It's I'm going to be happen. responsible. You yeah. start playing house. You're like, okay. Let's yeah. <laughs> well, you get in the moment. You really you do. You just forget about bunny rabbits. Yeah. Safety. You know, that is what happens when you're in your first little bit of, of puppy love, love. And yeah. yes. And also being fresh 19, you're just out of the know. house. Oh yeah. There's no parent there to like tell you what you can and cannot do. Yeah. You're living on your big girl terms uh -huh. in your big girl apartment. Out in Colorado. It was oh, the yeah. spot to be. <laughs> <laughs> Live in the best life and then so then you get pregnant yeah. And yeah how does your dynamic with both nate and just you change, change. i just i was so scared i yeah. know i said that earlier but i was so scared about i was researching everything mm -hmm. can i eat this can i drink this mm -hmm. can i all these things i had so much anxiety yeah which yeah. i know now is anxiety but yeah. i i don't know 
at first you don't feel like it is. No, yeah. At first you're just like, is. why am I feeling like this? Yeah. And it just feels Because it feels like nervous because you've yeah. never been through it before. Yeah. Like anxiety. Yeah. But you can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. And your whole brain is consumed by the thoughts of all the things that could happen. Yeah. So yeah. you told your mom at 10 weeks. When did you tell the world? At like 20 weeks. 20 we, weeks. We kept it a secret for like halfway until... I was yeah yeah halfway and you were already on TikTok whenever you shared yes so y'all had a following at that point and you were just like we're pregnant so this is funny because I had followed Nate for a while like this was back in like 2020 before you before you even back when the he picture. was doing the thirst trap like I literally remember him with, like these <laughs> dangly earrings yes. and I was a married woman it's not like you know I was following for weird reasons <laughs> yeah I just thought he was cool as hell yeah and so I'm like I'm gonna follow him and then you came in the picture and I remember people were so excited because we're like oh this cute girl with him and then I, I remember you guys announcing that you were pregnant mm -hmm. and it was like really quickly but I was like people just started to fall in love with you as well because you guys compliment each other very yeah, well that's what I was gonna say and I know there's struggles we all have them in our relationships but I'm like you guys compliment each other very well and it was exciting to see you enter this like mom space yeah. because then when you had your your baby because you you had shared your journey yeah and then you had your child and then we've got to see that side of you and mm -hmm. now you're just a mom creator out here with us and pregnant with your I second made it. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> you are pregnant with her second yeah yes. if we haven't already said that congratulations thank you congratulations. An another girl another girl another girl and you're far along right now yeah i'm a little over 32 weeks Ooh. <laughs> how are you, are you feeling like i need a nap but i'm, I'm good though <laughs> has this pregnancy been easier um it was easier because i knew what to expect this yeah. time like before i would I, I didn't drink any pop i didn't take any tylenol with luessa i didn't do anything that you're not supposed to yeah. do mm -hmm. i didn't eat subway nothing now i'm like babe i want a subway sandwich <laughs> just get it toasted you get more right? yeah. Yeah. toast it yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get more time. with um your first with luessa did you struggle with anything postpartum after or did baby blues or so i you know i think a big lie everybody tells you is if you're breastfeeding, you're going to lose a lot of weight. Yeah. That yeah. is a lie. Y'all yeah. lied to Everybody's me. Everybody's different. <laughs> Y'all lied different. to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was just my experience. Mm -hmm. But I gained 100 pounds after I had Luessa. And, of course, like we talked about before, people like to throw stones on the Internet. They Yeah, they do. They, they like to really talk a do. lot. And especially about me being overweight. Yeah. They love to talk about that. They do the same with me because I was open about a cosmetic surgery that I had a few years ago. So now that I've had another baby and I'm not immediately right back to that snatched, yes. you know, yeah. how I walked off the surgeon's table, they're, you know, love to talk about my body now. And yeah. they just don't understand pregnancy changes your body. Yeah. Alters your bones. My pelvic it like is not even in the same place Literally. anymore yeah. my hips are wider mm -hmm. jeans that fit me before don't fit me now even though I'm technically back to my pre-pregnancy weight yeah. my body doesn't look it yeah and I think also just the internet makes it look like because you see these other mom creators and they snap back yeah, yeah. like some yeah. of them do some people do yeah. they might not mentally which we don't see you know yes. but it was hard for me being younger seeing all these other women that were older than me having babies the same time as me and they're back to normal yeah Looking like a fitness model yeah yeah it's and it's hard because the internet had seen you had seen Paige before you were mothers yeah. right so like for me I've always been the same size and so like obviously I'm getting comments every day that I'm big and whatnot it doesn't hurt my feelings but for someone who was on the internet before at a smaller size and then you become a mother and your body changes it's like a big shock for you personally yeah. mm -hmm. and then people are tearing you down for it mm -hmm. your small 19 year old body went through so much yeah and now you're openly sharing about your weight loss journey mm -hmm. and, that, and that people. that takes so and much i'm not doing a like a weight loss journey when i was doing it before like yeah. i'm not really doing it as hard as i was yes. before because oh, yeah. i'm pregnant now but you're still working out girl i wasn't I working you. out Mm -hmm. now, if I'm pregnant, I'm I ain't getting off the, the couch. Stairs. I'm just doing the stairs at our apartment now. That's <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> a lot. Long. If you ever carry groceries up the stairs <laughs> in an apartment, that is a humbling experience. Yeah. Okay, or a toddler. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I made the mistake of getting myself all the way to the third floor, thinking <laughs> I was going to be on the top of the world. I was in a penthouse. I had to walk them stairs. With water cases. <laughs> Forget about it. Your original question was something about uh, like postpartum. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I was going to talk about it. wasn't until I was like six months postpartum. Boredom. <laughs> postpartum <laughs> boredom that i was like i think i have postpartum depression because yeah. Yeah. you don't I see it at first i'm not okay yeah. yeah it didn't hit me until until very recently as well because I, yeah. i'm struggling pretty bad with my mental my mental health right now my child is seven months old yeah and so i feel like in this last month i've really come out of that 
survival fog of like having a newborn to understanding like I've been putting my own mental health on the back burner to be in the survival mode. Yeah. And sometimes people like um, point it out to you too, because sometimes you're in the moment and you think I'm supposed to be tired. I'm Mm -hmm. supposed to be touched out. My kid's doing this. That's how it's supposed to be, but you're not supposed to feel certain feelings, you know, negativity and things like that. So sometimes it's hard to see. And I, well, I know that this is normal now, but like, thinking of all the worst things that could happen i know that like that's just a thing that moms do in general right but me carrying her down the stairs being so scared i'm gonna fall down and you know just thinking these horrible crazy things and nate would be like grace you are tripping like you are overthinking this everything's okay Mm -hmm. or i don't think i've ever gotten a full night's sleep even when i'm not with her like since she's been born because i'm just constantly on not fight or flight, but yeah, just you are just like it is kind she of like that. She breathing, you like hear a noise because you would flip yeah. into emergency mode immediately. Yeah, and as a mom, you're preparing for the worst yeah. constantly so that you feel prepared for anything. Yeah, because ultimately we want to protect our kids, so we try to be over prepared. God forbid anything happens, and most of the time we just work ourselves up into these what if scenarios, and yeah. then we get afraid of things like going places. I know yeah. I I struggle really hard with taking my kids into public spaces because yeah. I'm so afraid of an exit plan yeah. am I exposing them to something that could potentially cause them harm and I won't be able to protect them and get them out of that that situation yeah, yeah. and it takes like sometimes to realize like not all moms feel that way yeah mm-hmm. like I don't feel like I'm gonna drop my child you know what I mean Isn't like that yeah. nice? it's just and not all like I know I went through that page definitely still mm-hmm. goes through that but it's not a normal feeling to yeah. just always think that something bad's going to happen mm-hmm. and so like it also took like my husband being like no girl like nothing's gonna happen right now there's yeah. no fever like for me it was like i checked for a fever like every two minutes mm-hmm. because when i first trauma. had a baby yeah like there's so much and so like i, I just feel like we we all go through it and sometimes we're like oh it's normal because us three all had that experience yeah. together yeah. but it's not it's and not then normal. some people think that they're the unnormal one because they're seeing all the moms like you said that are happy that look great that feel great that are you know getting up and going and working out and their yeah. kids look perfect and put together and it's like how are you doing Right. And it just puts so much pressure. And then you kind of start to self damage because you're like, I'm not as good as this person is and I'm not doing what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And that's just so unfair. That's to why everyone. I started sharing on the internet. Yeah. It's because no mom looked like me. Yeah. Like there was not like there were other moms, but like as a plus size mom who had a hard time trying to conceive, I felt like there was not as much representation. And so and like, there's not. And there's not. So now people see me out here doing this yeah. with all these kids. And granted, I, I haven't been able to conceive my own second child. I'm still doing it with all these kids. I'm a plus size mom. I'm confident in myself. And hopefully it inspires other moms to yeah. see that because um, it takes a lot to be vulnerable with your whole self on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> putting ourselves on the internet yeah. is scary. A couple of months ago, you made a video talking about just take the kids, take yeah. them outside, yeah. go do something. Mm-hmm. And like, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to go. What if I she know. has a meltdown? Yeah. But now after you made that video, I was like, I'm going out. Yeah. We're going to, the, I don't right. care. We're going to go. <laughs> That's you right. know? It's like a mom's would always ask me like, how do you do this? And like, a lot of it is that I'm very experienced now, Yeah. but you just got to do it. And the yeah. more you do it, the easier it's going to get. And I talk to Paige about this all the time. Just go I'll, out there. I'll be in the house. <laughs> I'm not on that. You going to call me, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. She's literally, if you want to know where I am, the house, Target, or Sam's Club. I feel like my day goes by easier with children if I'm out for like an hour or two. Yes. Like two hours out of the house, they're going to come home and nap. Like that, that's already half of my day. Yeah. <laughs> so like for me, it, it helps my mental health. And it's health a break too. to get out of the house sometimes oh my gosh. too. It's Literally. been nice. She forces me. It's been good for the mental health. I won't lie. <laughs> if you're thinking about it, you know, maybe dip your toes. It's not too bad. <laughs> I know you're the askers of the questions, but I have a question for you. Yeah. Since you've had so many like babies and you have another newborn right now. Yeah. Do you... I, I know that it's not like the same, obviously, because like your body didn't go through it. Mm-hmm. But do you still feel that like you get burnt out? Like like a newborn having a newborn is hard because you said earlier yeah. survival mode. You're in survival mode. hundred percent of yes. the time. Yes, I do. And I you have two under one right now. Yeah. And something I've discussed is that I've had a newborn baby about every eight months for the last four years. Mm-hmm. And so my girl has not slept. 
at so, all so. for the last four years. <laughs> and, it, and it's still hard every day. Like yeah. accepting a new placement for a newborn baby, I am exhausted. I slept maybe four hours last night. Um, and I don't get like postpartum feelings, but I definitely have postpartum anxiety creep up on me. Yeah. And I have seen it all. And so I get really scared with things like choking for me is a huge anxiety for a little one. So if I hear yeah. a kid coughing. Mm-hmm. And so most definitely my postpartum anxiety from Bear, my first biological son, creeps up on me. And like I'm not going through the you know roller coaster of emotions that um, moms are having after pregnancy. The but hormones. I'm, the hormones, yeah. But I'm definitely um, tired, and yeah, um, it's not the same. But but it, it is though. Like you're still taking care of a newborn, a yeah. newborn baby who needs you at all hours of the day. Yeah, and then. I do have um, two under one. So it's been a journey these last couple of weeks of figuring out how to mom two yeah. kids under. How old will Luessa be when this baby comes? Um, she'll be two and a half. Two and a half. Is she excited? Oh, yeah. I, I oh. What I'm nervous about with her is she's going to want to be like a little mama. And like she loves babies in general. Mm-hmm. And I, I think she's going to be upset that she can't, she won't be able to help me through everything. You know, like. Yeah. I think that you'll love it. Yeah, you're gonna love it. What I've yeah. seen is, is most of the time it feels like the child gets jealous whenever the mom has to, you know, take care of the baby. Yeah. But if you can find a way to delegate a responsibility to the child, hey, can you run this type yeah. of the trash? Can you get mommy the wipes? Can you let help mommy pick out the outfit? Yeah. It makes that child feel included. Yeah. So they don't feel like I'm being replaced. Yeah. They feel like they have a place to help. And I think that if that's already her personality, mm-hmm. that you, you guys are going to have it. so much fun. And it's like scary. Like you're first, you're like, dang, how am I going to balance two kids? And yeah. here's her two under three, which well, still is hard. a hard age right now. Yeah. Two is, two is always a fun time. But the three nagers. I know. But you're, it's going to be a joy for you to like see her. The only thing that I know is that they are more aggressive. And so I know yeah. you, when you brought Juliet home, yeah. Boston wanted to touch her. Boston wanted scary. to get her out of the crib, bro. Like tried to pick her up by her blanket yes. the very first day. That's and what I'm like, saying. I think the US is going to want to hold she's, her. She's like, like my baby. Yeah, yes. he does. He still does. He'll, he'll say, he won't go get her, but he will still be like, I want to hold her. Yeah. But Aww. it was very quick that he realized she's little and yeah. that mommy treats her differently. Yeah. You know, because like he's picking up on my body yeah. language and what I'm doing with the baby. And so he can see I'm being nurturing and calm and quiet gentle. around this tiny little yeah. human gentle. We'll say soft hands, mm-hmm. soft hands. This is what we say pretty much we all do. day long. Gentle. gentle. Uh, <laughs> and, and they pick up on it. And yeah. now he'll come over to her and go, gentle, uh-huh. gentle. So, uh, you're going to love it it has honestly been one of my most favorite things about being a mom having some a child that is old enough to understand that there's a sibling coming because he'll come home and run immediately to her hi baby sister and what's so sweet now that she's six months or she's seven months now but ever since about six months when he would he'll come in she her whole face lights up she recognizes him and she's happy so it's just i mean you think you love right now that just your heart just grows and just more and more love just gets poured into it i'm excited for you i know i'm so i'm so excited for you i'm excited i'm i'm you guys made me feel better about it i'm (laughs) Are you nervous? Of course I'm nervous. Are you ner- What's the most, like, is it the labor? Is it the... I feel like the labor was the easiest part for me the last time. I pushed her out in 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. With baby number... Y'all, I pushed for an hour and 45 minutes and had a third degree episiotomy. But I told you guys I was tripping, though. I was Googling, <laughs> YouTubing, everything. I would make Nate lay in bed and watch birth... Do we all do that? Birthing I videos? I did that. I watched birth vlogs. Me, too. Yeah. Oh, I did not. I did oh, not want to see it. I wanted to see it When all. they handed yeah. me... They were like, do you want to see it in the mirror? I was like, no. I wrote in my birth plan that I wanted a mirror. To, so you, I could watch okay, it come out. Y'all are brave. I don't want to see my vagina in that form. I watched all. I pushed also my first out in 15 minutes. Like they had to stop me so the doctor could come. Like he was coming. My out. doctor wasn't even in the hospital. See, see? Why are y'all so lucky? He was on stuck on the highway with so construction. So they say the second's just Mine gonna was tired of, fly of, out. of the time and was just like, give me the scissors. We're going to cut this bad oh boy God. out of you. No. You had a C-section for Boston? No, I had a third degree episiotomy. A what, huh? That's a, a rip. A third degree of That's a rip. It's not even a rip. It's quite literally where they, they take these large surgical scissors and cut you from vagina to asshole. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And then they stitch you back up. It is. Uh, it's <laughs> She's like, great. I'm going to be a <laughs> Well, if you had that little of issues with number one, I will say with, with See, number two. See, that's why I'm scared, though. It took me 20 minutes. So it was like so much less time. And I did not have an episiotomy. 
So if you didn't already have that in your first one, I mean, not yeah. that I'm, I'm no doctor. Don't get me quoted over here. But yeah. I don't think that you'll have any issues. Especially because you had a nice um, yeah. vaginal birth with no issues. Yeah. That means you stretch well. It's, you should be fine. But dang, stretch hey, scare, well. scare people. That's what <laughs> I say. Bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, um, it was. I, I don't, apparently. So... <laughs> I may need to do the perineal stretches. Uh, the did o- you? olive oil. <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> did you see that olive oil spray? Did you see that trend oil. on TikTok? So I told my People mom, I was like, olive I need oil olive oil hoo-hoo's. because you're supposed to rub it down there. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, I didn't do that when I, was, <laughs> when I was having a baby. I'm like, oh, well. That can't be, that cannot be sanitary. <laughs> but since everything went so well with Luessa, she was a great baby. She was not colicky. She didn't cry. Like, she only cried Ooh. if she needs something. No, she put that on her. She's like, <laughs> second baby. Dun, dun, dun. Listen, I don't want to. I don't want to scare you this entire podcast, okay? Ah. But Boston she was really my is. my calm, sweet, lovey baby, <laughs> and Julia is like, if you put me down, I will light this room on fire. So, you know, I it's, think every child's different. It's not though. gonna be like that for you. Probably not. Right. Because <laughs> also because Boston is. So <laughs> We're just gonna terrify Grace. I'm not. Bear was my hardest, and he was my first. So every child after that has been great. I'm just gonna get up and leave the podcast now. No, I'm my She's input is no her. longer. But even wanted. as like an older baby, like when she was like one, and like and now her as a toddler, she's just a such a good kid. And so I'm I like, I love that. It's gonna be how good. am I gonna do the same with the second? How do I? You did it one time. You're gonna. You can. You can. But yeah, they're can. all, they do they're, their own thing. They do their own thing. It doesn't thing. matter what I say. No. Like they it doesn't matter. They run the show at the end yeah. of the day. You will but. adjust and learn how to love all of their little quirks and things. Yeah. That's going to be so great. So do you guys already have a name? Yes. Do yeah, you want she, to say You don't have to share. You don't have to share. <laughs> I'm not going to share yet. Can but. you tell us? Can we bleep this out, Ben? Yeah. Can we bleep this out? Can Will you tell us? Oh, so cute. <laughs> it's really cute, y'all. Okay, y'all are gonna y'all are gonna like it a lot. A and if you deal. don't, we don't care. Big deal for a name, huh? It was, it's a big deal to. Oh yeah, name. yeah, yeah. Like, doesn't when it I, feel weird to name a human? Literally, yeah, it's a big responsibility. It's a huge responsibility. Mm-hmm. And then what if they hate it? Yeah. And like, I spent all this time getting you a special <laughs> name, and you don't like it. Well, like I, we took a long time That's to get Bear's name, and he, we don't even call him by his real name. We call him I, Bear, I and everyone mean. thinks his name is Bear. Literally, I didn't know for a while that it. And now we have Fox, so nobody knows who um, who the, who the real that? names are. <laughs> yeah. Barry Fox, what? Girl, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they have other names. They do. Woodland creatures. I like she, it. She's got herself a little forest of, I think, <laughs> of, of children over there. <laughs> Don't ask me, you guys. Okay, Bear liked the name Fox because he was Bear, and it just happened. So. I think it flows perfect. And now when you see Fox, you're like, oh, that's Foxy Boy. Hey, he's a Foxy that's Boy. Foxy Boy. Yeah, exactly. He's so cute. <laughs> Did you guys have a long time getting names? Uh, yeah, we couldn't agree on a name <laughs> for anything. But well, Nate is kind of the one that like, because I was like, oh, we can't name Luessa after, yeah. like, I don't want to name her after myself. Like, that's weird. And but he was like, but Luessa is such a like a unique name. So it's Nobody. your middle name. Yeah. Oh, oh see, I, I had that. asked that because I was like, her account's Grace Luessa, and I thought it was like you and your daughter, but it's mm-hmm. your name. Yeah. So I thought Luessa is so like unique and beautiful. Yeah, it is. I'm the original. <laughs> and then her middle name is Lane, and which is Nate's middle name, Nathan Lane. So Luessa Lane. Oh my god, that's, that's so cute. cute. Y'all both have good middle names. Yeah, you too, Nate Lane. I know. Thanks, Mama Fancy. <laughs> I used to hate my middle name because I wanted to be like a Lee or a Lynn, and like something, something that everybody else had. Marie. Yeah, Marie. Mm-hmm. That would have been great. <laughs> I literally said my whole life that my daughter's middle name would have been Marie. I had reason though. It was my grandmother's middle name, but then I realized how popular it was. And Everybody's I was like, oh, Marie. maybe we should go some a different route. That's the hardest part about picking baby names is that you want it to be unique, but then some of the unique names are they're a little <laughs> cement concrete <Yeah>. you, know? <laughs> you know do you remember oh my gosh whenever social media got like real big back in the day when facebook was a new thing i remember seeing the ladasha do you remember that story where it was like l e hyphen a and they pronounced it ladasha uh-uh. I, don't know. I do remember at the time when the celebrities started coming out with like apple, apple. and things like that <laughs> yes. and it was so unique but i kind of loved that i think that's why my kids have <laughs> <laughs> you have names. unique names i just feel like in my mind like they're already an athlete and so like one day they're gonna be like bear Hoffer. i'm not lying to you i Fox. was like 
what if he's walking across the stage at Harvard? Dr. Boston Thomas. I was like, yep, that's it. That's Aww. the one. You know, that's what you kind of hope for for your kids is that their name makes them sound strong, yeah. especially yes. for a boy. Yes. Anyways, yeah. that was our main thing was like, I wanted his name to sound like a strong male, but also a cute little boy. You don't want to give them too cutesy of a name whenever they're little, you know, because some people will be like, oh, I'm trying to think of a name that that would just only work for a toddler. And then you get a CEO and you're like, okay. I hear people say the opposite. They're like, they don't want like a Chuck, like like a grown grandpa name. A Chuck? Like, like could you see a toddler that. be Chuck? Come on. I would think that's the cutest thing ever personally <laughs> for me. Yeah, I would like that. You want to ask someone? <laughs> Grace is like, y'all Chuck. are insane. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. Maybe you've had a bad experience with Chucks. I don't know. Have you had a Chuck's not doing it for me? You know, I, <laughs> no hate to Chuck out Chuck. there, by the way. No <laughs> I met Chuck Norris as a child. Yeah. The real Chuck Norris? The real Chuck. So, uh, this is a fun story. My biological mom did um, makeup for Chuck Norris for Walker, Texas Ranger, whenever it was on air. Okay. And uh, one of the times that I saw her as a child, I got to go on set. And I watched him kick somebody's ass. I was terrified of him. I didn't know he was a celebrity. I just watched That's him beat so somebody random. up. Uh, so I have like a Polaroid of me with Chuck Norris. Um, I need if you're proof. out there. I need a picture. We're friends. You just don't know it. <laughs> I've known you since I was five. <laughs> so we do have questions for you that yes, we, we went on Instagram. If you guys are not following us on Instagram, please do. We do Q&As over there. We have some behind the scenes. We would love for you guys to go over there and follow us there. And so we asked you guys questions for Grace. So we're going to open them up and... See what they were. See Y'all were so excited for her to be here. So mm-hmm. were we. We were, we were pumped. And all of our guests. I was so excited when you said yes. I know. I was so excited to get asked. So like, <laughs> what's crazy is I was like, you guys moved closer. And I was yeah. like, oh, snap. They're a drive away. Yeah. Was because I was thinking like he was talking about shows. And I was like, oh, I can just get out of the, you know, Oklahoma City or wherever it may be. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I can finally go to a show. And I was like, wait, she can come to Dallas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's not a bad drive because you're in Arkansas. Yeah, it's not that, not bad. that bad. It's really not. It's, we're like we're neighbors. We're for like 45 minutes away from Northwest, so you weren't there. It's it was like four, like four hours basically. Four it's not hours. Bad. Is that minutes. where the Sam's Club headquarters is over mm-hmm. there? Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I didn't drive, but no, I've been there before. You didn't drive? No, my husband. She did. don't drive. I don't drive. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't. If it's she's over a passenger 18 princess. minutes, yeah, we're yeah. all passenger princess. Mm-hmm. Okay, and a pillow princess. So. All of the above. <laughs> Preach. Any any of that that I can be, I want to be that. Same. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready? Question. I hope so. How have you and Nate grown together in your relationship? I feel like we've matured night and day. Like when we met, we were literally kids. Um, I don't talk about this a lot, but we did OnlyFans when we first met. And now I'm wow. like, yeah. Now I'm like a totally different human being. Mm-hmm. Like I've just grown and matured so, so, so much with him. Like, we went from literally being kids mm-hmm. and just messing around, doing whatever we wanted to do, not caring about our, not that we weren't like reckless, but yeah. like just not caring about our, uh, not, not appearance is not the word, like not Your caring reputation. about our rep. Yeah. Not yeah. really not being as responsible. I understand yes. what you're saying yes. because <laughs> I've worked in the adult industry before and not that I've ever said that out loud to anybody. Yeah, I've never talked about it either, but yeah, I, mom's I, the word. Yeah, mom's the word, baby. We, we've been there. I've been there. And, and it was really hard for me because in the moment, I didn't care. I was, put me on a billboard. Make me the, the, the it girl. I didn't care. Now, I would just feel like that isn't who I am now. Yeah. Right. So it wouldn't resonate now if that type of, like if it was... I don't know if it was like a sticker you had to wear constantly mm-hmm. that says like this is what you've done with your life. Yeah. It doesn't make me who I am. Like I've lived right. that experience, yeah. but now it would embarrass me because that's not who I am. Not because I'm embarrassed by that industry. Yeah. I, it has a it has a place, you yeah. know, and I enjoyed it. I won't yeah. lie to you. Yeah. I enjoyed it while I did it, but now I it enjoyed doesn't the resonate. paycheck for sure. Hello, yeah. The money yeah. was yeah. the reason. That was, it was the so, reason. So exactly. Nice. And honestly, I don't personally feel like anybody goes into that position for the fun of it. Mm-hmm. There's a reason that you put yourself into a position to be in the adult industry, although mine was different than OnlyFans. Um, I didn't want to be in that position to have to do that. Yeah. But I knew that I had bills to pay mm-hmm. and that I needed a way to do that quick and easily. And so I totally get what you're saying when you're like, now mm-hmm. I, I feel like i've matured out of that yeah not that that's a sign of immaturity no, it's certainly not, not. You gotta do what it's you gotta just do. yeah it doesn't resonate with who i am now like yeah. 
now who I am, I'm proud of the mom I am. I'm proud of the person I am. Mm -hmm. Just like you were saying, like, not that I wasn't proud of who I was back then, but I just feel way more level headed, I yeah. think. And I make change. better decisions. Yeah. yeah. When you have a child, your whole perspective changes. Yeah. yeah. Like I bet for Renee to change, like he had to become a different kind of man. Oh, you yeah. have to be completely different. Especially when you have a daughter. Oh, exactly. And I have seen him grow every, every day I see him keep growing into the, just a, not that he's not a good man, but just yeah. a better man all the time. You have to never be your best. best. Yeah. yeah. Right. We're always going to be growing mm -hmm. forever. I'm, I mean, I hope I'm 65 and yes. still learning things and capable yeah. of opening my mind to yeah. knowing that being able can to change. admit when you're wrong. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like seeing. It takes time. And y'all are wrong. so young mm -hmm. still. Like it's taken, you know, Chris and I a long time to grow together. We've been married 10 years. Mm -hmm. We've and been she through. Won't put a, she won't put a finger in his butt. You. <laughs> I've oh. been talking to her about this. Ben? She won't. Uh, <laughs> she won't. <laughs> Not all men want a finger in their butt, Paige. She. <laughs> <laughs> Do oh my not. goodness. I cannot. Anyways, Anyways they, they're, they're gonna, always takes a fun they, turn, doesn't it, Ben? Look at Ben's face. <laughs> but seeing them change as Nate like. Is so scared right now. I He's know. like, don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nate? Nate. <laughs> But seeing them grow is also really cool to see because, and he's going to keep growing. Like 23 is young. I don't know how Nate is, if he's your age or not. But yeah, he's 23. Yeah, so you, it's, it's going to change a lot. Yeah. yeah. And like seeing. His, his frontal lobe isn't even developed no. yet until what, 25, 25, right? I remember like when Chris became a dad, he's like, my whole life changed. Mm -hmm. My vision changed. Now I need to hustle twice as hard because mm -hmm. I'm not caring for me. I'm caring for you. And for us, he wanted me to be a stay-at-home mom. He had this dream of what we were going to look like, mm -hmm. and we do. Like mm -hmm. he put that plan into action. And I see y'all hustling. Mm -hmm. And so it's just, um, y'all are doing a great job at Thank it. You. And He does seem like he shows up for you. Yeah. But you does. show up for him too. And I, yeah. I love that. But um, yeah, y'all are going to keep hustling. And then when you're, when you're my age, you're going to look back and be like, God damn. You're going to feel like it was a different lifetime. <laughs> Literally. I look at that person and I, like, hell, the last four years, I feel like I've lived two, four different <laughs> lifetimes. So it's like, I look back at the person I was at 19 and I'm like, who's that girl? Because I don't agree with her, first of all. I don't want to know anything that came out of her <laughs> mouth because I don't know her. So yeah. it's just I like. Don't I don't remember me. Yeah, 19. literally. You will you will very quickly realize that, that you will not resonate with things forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may in that moment, mm -hmm. and it may be exactly what you need in that moment. And, like, decisions don't define you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yes. Yeah. I agree. How many times I've changed my mind? You can change your mind tomorrow. You can make, make another decision. Yeah. I could change my mind right now. Get up and walk away. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't leave us. <laughs> Why'd you make the move to Arkansas, and how are you enjoying it so far? Um, I'm enjoying it. I, a lot of people want to know that. Yeah, they do. Really? Yeah, they're interested. Um, well, Nate is from Arkansas. He was born and raised in Arkansas, and he moved back from here in Texas mm -hmm. his whole life. And the last three years, he's lived in Illinois with my family. And he's been homesick. He has been missing his family. Mm -hmm. And I've gone and moved and lived in Colorado by myself. I'm okay with being alone. My mom is just the sad one. Oh, I you bet. Know? Yeah. I bet. But um, I'm okay just like I'm I was okay to move and give him some time with his family too so that our kids can know his side of the family more yeah. and yeah just yeah. also like family. different opportunities yeah yeah, yeah. What'd you say? nice it's just you have a big family <laughs> um no he only he only has his like mom's side of the family mm -hmm. but I have a big family back in Illinois so they're all they're all they're always everywhere. yes yes nice. <laughs> well I hope Arkansas works out for you guys yeah Good thank you out Me there and, yeah it was easy to c drive here from Arkansas. It really so was. That was a good opportunity. <laughs> good to know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you most excited for with having a second kid? I'm ex well. I'm excited to see Luessa be a big sister, mm -hmm. and I'm just excited for our family to grow. And I'm excited to see Nate with two babies in his arms. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it attractive when it a dad's so carrying a baby? Literally. There's nothing. An there's nothing dad? as good yeah. as an active dad, Woo. like rocking a baby to sleep. Like mm -hmm. gets me going. <laughs> Yes, we we tried to find like a baby wearing thing for Nate before, but we couldn't find any like plus size. Oh, girl. So hmm. You're going to tell you. me, you know, any yeah. plus size companies out there are feeling like sponsoring. Right. Grace. Send it my way. We need she, plus she needs wraps. Wraps. She needs I'll let wraps. you know, though. I'll let you know because I've wrapped Chris and Chris is a big dude. So really? Yeah. I had a Moby wrap, but it. So I had to make my own Moby wrap because they didn't have it in plus size. And you'd like the, the fabric at like Joanne Fabric I only spent like 12 bucks. It's the what same kind of exact Joanne's? fabric. Yeah, it does the same and thing. And you get in like black or gray. Yeah. Well, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Make your own. DIY. Yep. Okay. DIY. 
Grace is always so motivated and positive. Does she have any tips? <laughs> uh, I don't show on camera Kayla. when I'm not positive camera or shows a little bit or motivated. Yeah, I I try to be like positive on the internet because I don't, I wouldn't want to put negative stuff out there to bring anybody else down. So yeah. I don't share negative parts of my life. A lot of people say sometimes, why don't we never hear Luessa crying in the back of your videos? Why would I post that? Why yeah. would I post my child yeah. crying? Yeah. 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 Or Ever. like Luessa is always so well behaved. She is well behaved, but she does mm -hmm. have, you know, moments where she's having really big feelings and yeah, I'm not right. going to show that on the internet. That's like a, go ahead. It's like a safe space for her though that you won't. Yeah. Yeah. She's a child. Yeah. And I feel like I've always been really careful with what I share with mm -hmm, her, mm -hmm. especially I've always been really some some people in my family think that I am um what's the word? Too like too strict about it, okay. but those I, are boundaries you had to set though. Yeah. I get that. And yeah. I don't think that people uh, and I mean this with respect. I think that if you're not a creator, you don't fully understand it yet. Yeah. Because I, even in the beginning of being a creator, was like, well, what's the big deal? Like, I'm just sharing them. And then now the more the more I grow, the, the more I pull back because it yeah. just feels like there's too many eyes. And she's still like she you might see her face in like my vlogs or something yes. or yeah. or hear her talking yeah. like just something sweet. But I. I had an experience we were at a pizza ranch in um like just my small town back home and it was a girl came up to me she came up to luessa and she didn't even i had never seen her before and she was like oh hi luessa and it was after luessa had gotten out of the hospital mm. i don't know if you remember yes any of that but she had had like some breathing problems so we, we had a pediatric icu stay we stayed on oh, the wow. peds floor twice it was bad and i i feel like even in the hospital i didn't even make any videos i made one video saying hey i haven't posted anything mm -hmm. this is where we're at that's it because i it was it wasn't a space for me to make videos right I, I you weren't like, feeling happy no. right. to jump up and right. do a video and so i just with little information that i even really shared about the situation this girl had came up to luasa hi luasa are you feeling better i know you were just in the hospital and i just like naming off other things about luasa like things that she could get her to talk about. And the lady was so nice and so sweet. She and didn't mean anything. No, yeah, no. Right. Just because the information that I had shared, what she knew scared me. Cause in the wrong mm -hmm. hands, that yeah. could be different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, the world can be a crazy place. I think we are seeing that so much. Yeah. And you're all exposed the time. to a lot more yeah. humans than a normal person would. Yeah. Be. And I feel like people think we share a lot mm -hmm. and I can tell you right now, you do not know me. Like yeah. I'm so private that yeah. what I share with you like I, I know exactly what moments you're getting it from. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I read a post the other day. It's like, I'm so private that if I hear something about me from somebody, I know who told you about it. Yeah. Like you ain't gonna find out nothing about me. You no. can think I share, but I don't share that much. No, mm -hmm. I don't either. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Do you and Nate want more than two kids? Nate would have a whole basketball team <laughs> if he could. He wants a lot of kids, but we'll see because my bladder already is not holding up after one. Oh no my bladder is done so like i'm not, i'm okay you ready for an embarrassing story i mean like within seconds of knowing that i have to pee if i don't get up and go pee we're gonna it's, it's y'all need to no, do some kegels same. i'm gonna girl i've been to. trying Get to your do kegels, kegels on i've been trying Listen, now you you i've been trying your kegels trying. right now <laughs> your baby's dropping they know yeah. kegels <laughs> i peed myself when i sneeze we've all peed ourselves i think like a month ago, I peed myself. Well, you just had a baby. It was yeah, so you're humbling. Months ago. It was so humbling. Y'all, <laughs> you're still loosey goosey a little bit. This is such a stupid story. But I was trying so hard. We have on the side of our house, we have like a, a bathroom access. So I'm attempting to get to this door as I've just gone to the grocery store. And I'm like running, running to this door. And it's through my backyard. And I'm like, I'm not going to make it. So did I pull my pants down? Yes. And then uh, <laughs> you were at your house at least. I did. Yeah. I did make it to my backyard. So I peed in the floor my backyard and then i'm like well better wash off so i just got in the pool <laughs> listen all of us moms have been there yeah, i've been judging stuff literally holding yourself trying to go to the bathroom no physically having to physically I've hold taking yourself. a diaper like but <laughs> so incredibly humbling it's you it know really is. it does something to you yeah and the first time like i got really sick after having the baby and throwing up and then mm. like accidentally peeing yourself yeah yeah it puts you in a weird headspace <laughs> it really does makes you feel old and broken <laughs> oh man uh, you just had a baby see. girl i know give yourself some grace nothing works right 
What would you like to do different on social media this time than when what you did with your first daughter? Um, when Luis was born, I didn't like show her face. I didn't really show anything when she was first born. I think that I still want to do that this second time. Like just, just protect. I just want to protect my kids. Yeah. And, and now, like I said, like I shared some information before. I just, I really just try to keep it like you're not gonna know anything. That's like, right. If you see them in the back of a, a video or like day in the life, this this is my wife, you That's know. Right. So That's right. But I feel good I feel good with my content. Like yeah. I feel like I've never like you made my Yeah, I feel like I've never made my content about Luessa. That's right. Like yep. Come here, Luessa, we're gonna nah, 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 nah. like she's a part of your life. Yes. But she's yes. not she's not the my content. content. Yeah. Right. I even like Barry's at this age now where he wants to be in videos. He will literally yeah, ask yeah, he me does. to be in videos. Like you is, can tell. You oh can my tell. god! And like so, I'm also like if I go somewhere, you're not gonna see that video until I'm gone. Yeah. Like people will think I'm like I'm at the state fair. I was there four hours ago. Yeah. Like I'm not at the same location that I was. Yeah. Also, I'm never in the city that I say I'm in usually. Like people mm -hmm. will see me like she travels <laughs> everywhere though. Because nobody knows where I live. They'd be like she lives in Dallas somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. And so Texas is so big though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And where Dallas we live here in big. Dallas, there's literally like 15 towns that mm -hmm. I could be yeah. in. It's crazy. And the traffic here, <laughs> not for me. I don't know how you guys do it. I don't. I told you I don't. I don't get in the car. I don't like it. I don't. It scares me. It's literally. horrible. Why are there seven lanes? Why are they going up above me? Literally. <laughs> it's the concrete coffin is what I yeah. call it because it's terrifying. Not the concrete coffin. Not the coffin. <laughs> because then you get on the highways and they've got daggone barriers. Listen, I'm from where there's grass. If I, you could come swerving into my lane, I might spin out in the grass, but I'm going into the shoulder. Yeah. You cannot do that here. No. It is a concrete no. barrier. You are literally in a concrete coffin. Yeah. Like that's what it is. <laughs> um, it terrifies me. I don't like it at all, but I also can't move because I have separation issues. So <laughs> here we are. <laughs> um, let's see here. How do you find time for grace? How do I find time for <laughs> like me? Yeah. Um, honestly, I don't sometimes, yeah. you know, like, if I if I do like the other day I went and I got my my toes done mm -hmm. and the whole time I was sitting there I'm texting Nate hey how are you guys doing oh my god, oh my god. Uh, the comments on that video where they were like you're gonna go into labor getting a pedicure oh yeah <laughs> let her get her feet rubbed do y'all realize that people th those people know that there are certain places in your feet that yeah. they could hit that would send you into labor and I'm sure you went in and you were like I'm pregnant as I remember my lady I told her whenever I hit you know I was like hey. We're getting pretty close over here. You yeah, she put could some see. pressure in it. She could see. She could see you pregnant. The first time with Lewis, I told you guys I was scared about everything. Mm -hmm. I just said, made a video about I was going to get a pedicure. Everybody commented the same thing about, mm -hmm. oh, you can't get a pedicure when you're pregnant. That, that pregnant, like you'll go into labor. I didn't get a pedicure. Yeah. <laughs> so I went and I got my pedicure. But That's right. I, I like Nate also, he started a new job here. So I'm home all the time with mm -hmm. Lewis, just me and her. And I like being at home with my kids. So I don't. Yeah. Right now, I have not found my grace time yet. I also yeah. don't know anybody in Arkansas. I don't have friends here. We have his family, but they're all busy. They've got their yeah. own lives, too. So yeah. maybe that's something I need to work on. Yeah, maybe after just kind the of new the baby. same. Yeah. I won't lie. So whenever I got with Mark, I moved from my hometown to here in the city. And my hometown is much smaller than, than this large city that is so full of these people everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Um, and so for a while, I was like, didn't know anybody didn't care to know anybody and then cindy realized that i was local to her yep. and she was really the first like local friend besides my husband's ex-wife that i've ever hung out with yeah so i think that it'll take time yeah but yeah i will say she's pushed me to get out of the house and to do more things and it's been really nice to have a mom friend that understands motherhood mm -hmm. and all that comes with it to hang out with i think that's so important because sometimes your friends that don't have kids they don't, don't understand no. when you say when they say just bring the kids and you say okay <laughs> buckle up betty because it's about to be fun for yeah. us all you know and they don't understand the experience of doing things yeah. with kids either yeah. they don't understand like or that times. kid is still the priority yes during all of this yeah. and i know that you want to go do that fun thing and of course i do too but my child comes first. Yeah. Yeah. I think they don't see like the mental strain it puts on us too. Like to bring my Absolutely. kids to somebody's house that's not it's like hard child proof. Oh, gosh. it's hard to leave them. It's hard to bring them. I've been taking her to like the library and stuff to yeah. try to meet yeah. just other kids her age. Yeah. Moms, mm -hmm. you know, 
but so we'll we'll see where the library story times go. <laughs> yeah, and also you can look at, you know look at local moms groups, and I know yeah. it's scary, She's the but best like on that. yeah, because it's scary. But like if you meet fifteen people, one of them might be somebody that you connect with, and if you can find that in your area, it's really important. It helps me a lot. I'm pretty outgoing, although I like to be at home. Like I needed somebody to help me um, get those young ages because it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot, yeah. and even though like you obviously rely on your partner, I feel like you do need somebody outside of your partner yes. too yeah. to just hear you out sometimes because yeah. sometimes you can get so stuck in being in the house with your husband like i know like there's situations where it'll be like it's not that bad yeah and it's like but it is but it i is. need somebody to tell me it Literally. is you know so that's that's a huge thing we have time for one more yes i believe we do yeah. let's see here oh it's already 145 look at us look at us look at us A lot more like the same, like they want to know. Yeah, like, I think one of these is funny, though. I was going to do the funny one it. last. <laughs> oh, yeah. Grace, if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? <laughs> Ooh. I think I'd, I think I'd be a cat. It's basic. <gasps> Me too. Basic. I love cats. Me too. But really? Yeah. Totally. You got to like earn my, earn my respect. Yeah. You just cats, be chilling all the time. Yeah. Cats, they sleep a lot. Yep. They, they just get fed. They're warm and cuddly. Mm -hmm. I'm fuzzy. Yeah. A lot of people don't mess with me. Yeah. Because either you like a cat or you don't. You know? That's true. I'd be a bear, so. Would you really? Yeah. They had this question the other day at my Starbucks. It was, would you be a bird or a bear? And I picked a bird really fast. And then I was like, wow, I'm surprised at how many people have chosen the bear. And the barista was like, well, you know, hibernation. And I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. I would totally hibernate. So, like, hibernate. I choose a bear. Like, obviously, I love being a mama bear. But, like, I chose a bear because bears are, like, brave, resilient, um, you know, they are independent people and Yours they care, so they poetic. care for their like kitten and their kids and stuff like that really well. And then they get to hibernate and chill and eat like fish all day. And I like the water. So. <laughs> yeah. I like the water. My whole yeah. about to, I'm about to take a six She's month like, nap. I'm going to be a cat. <laughs> I'm going to be asleep. <laughs> Oh my um, goodness. See, I didn't think very hard about my answer. But that was quick. Yeah, <laughs> it was like completely philosophical. Yeah, like, she had hers ready. Listen, she was excited about it. I've literally been waiting for that question. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it ready. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, goodness. This, well, this was so great. Today. Thank yeah. you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Thank you guys for having me. Motherhood. On. Do you have any advice, anything last moment you want to say? Um, it's okay to learn, it's okay to let yourself learn. Let yourself be vulnerable as a mom. You're not going to know everything. Ask for help. You know, it's a whole learning experience all the way around. Yeah. That's right. Be patient with yourself. Yeah. Take your time, mamas. Take your time. As usual, this was so much fun. We have a good time together. We had a really good time. I have, I've enjoyed having you, Grace. I've been a longtime fan of you and your husband. Husband, Nate. <laughs> now we get to <laughs> take you to eat some fair food. I like I'm to say excited. Nate because I followed Nate for a long time, so I'm like, not my friend Nate's here. Yep. <laughs> As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you again. Keep the giggles going. And the left flowing. Until next time, mom knows best. Or at least she's trying her best. She's trying I her best, y'all. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. Thanks, Thanks for guys coming for on. Me. You ready to eat a corn dog? Mom's the Word podcast is recorded at the Museum of Neon Lights in Frisco, Texas. It's a selfie studio open to the public. Mention the podcast and you'll get an exclusive 10% off.